What is happening, guys? Hunter Potter, I am jumping on here real quick to follow up with that video I just did with GoGo, -Go, and I'm going to teach you how to really simply drop a pin so that we can specifically target our listings, our open houses, whatever it is you want to target. I'm going to show you real quick on how to do that. So let me share my screen here and let's get this thing going. Okay. So we are now, I'm in my ads manager, right? You see this? We're going to drop down to ads. I am going to come up here and click create an ad. Okay. Um, now here's where you can play around with it a little bit, whether you want to get more messages, uh, if you want to actually create a lead form to where they submit their name, number, whatever it is you want to do, uh, you're going to do that here, or you can just target it locally and, and, and get likes on your page. Uh, but I like people to interact with me. So I'm going to click on get more messages. Okay. Boom. Here we go. Uh, obviously this description right here is where you're going to want to put whatever it is. If you have a new listing, if it's an open house, uh, for this one, let's just say we have an open house. Come check or come have a mimosa with me. One, two, three main street. I don't know. Whatever it is you want to do, that's where you're going to put it right there. Play around with that. Have some emojis in there. Make it look inviting. Um, okay, so then we're going to drop down here, select your media. This is where you're going to pick your pictures of your houses, uh, whatever it is that you are wanting to target. So boom, for now, you're just going to have to see my ugly mug. Pretend that that's pictures of, of, a, of a listing, okay? Um, what we're going to do now is where we actually get into the targeting of this ad, okay? So we're going to drop down. We don't want smart audience. Okay. We want to see this tab right here. People you choose through targeting. So we're going to click on that audience detail. We're going to edit that. And this is where we're actually going to dive in and target these people specifically. So this is going to pop up to where we edit our audience. Obviously if you're running a, a listing just for women or just for men, then you can pick that here. But obviously we want men, women, children, grandmas, uncles, everybody and their mothers to be at our open houses. So we obviously go all from 18 to 65. Now, get rid of that location. This is where we're actually going to, see this word, drop a pin, baby. This is where we're gonna actually gonna pick where this ad is at and anybody entering that, and I'm gonna show you how. Okay, so let's just use any, uh, any address here. Actually, let's, let's just do my, uh, my office for, for uh, training purposes. So 600 Fort Street, Port Huron, right there, baby. Okay, boom. So now, as you can see, I have a 10 mile radius around my pin, which is 600 Fort Street. I'm gonna drop that down, okay? We don't need to target everybody. I want only people that are coming in and out of my radius, right? To see this ad. Okay, boom. Now that pin has been dropped. Um, if you wanted to target multiple houses or multiple locations, right? Like, let's say you have a beach house that people, you know, from a different area might want to buy. You click this, drop a pin, and I can do that there as well. Drop it down as big as I want it, as little as I want it. I recommend getting smaller we're going to get the actual people coming in and out of that bubble and uh we'll get more uh targeted with that audience okay so there we go we are going to now see this little browse button this is where we can really get detailed on who we're actually targeting okay that pin's already dropped right the pin's already dropped i just like to add a couple more um targeting options that way we really hit home and there's some cool ones we can do, guys. Obviously, you can go through all the demographics if you want, relationship. Hey, if they're newly uh, divorced, right? Hey, they're going to have to buy, sell soon, okay? You know, whatever it is. But obviously, you can play around with this on another day. There's so many different options. I like this behavior button, okay? Because we can drop down right here, mobile device. Now I can go Facebook access mobile, all devices. Click that bad boy. That means anybody who has ever used Facebook, 
on any device that is in that area is going to see my ad. I mean, that's, it's pretty killer. Okay. Um, if you want to do somebody that's on their computer as well, you drop down here, operating system, somebody who logged in onto windows. Okay. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, but that's, you can play around with that and, and target even more. So, uh, but I just want to show you how to do this. So we go back here. Now I have my pins dropped. My audience has been chosen and who I want to target. I want everybody who's been on Facebook and enters my zone right there. Okay. So then I go save audience. Boom. Now, as you can see, people choose through targeting. It's got my audience that I saved. Guys, this is actually very simple. Um, it's just probably something you just didn't know that you could do, okay? Um, now we drop down here and we can do our start date and our start time and our end date. So let's say we have an open house ad, right? We don't, we do, we don't even need to run it for a week. We can run it for four days, right? And we start it uh, today and then, and then end it you know, on the Sunday, right? If you want, you can go, we can start it today and run it for nine days. If we wanted to, whatever it is, you want to run that thing. It's right there. $5 a day. You're estimated to reach 98 to 283 people to enter that zone a day. It's probably going to be more than that, to be honest. They just want you to raise this money bar, right? Because every time you raise that money bar, they're going to show you more people uh, that you get in there. So me personally, I would spend $10 a day on this ad. $90 a day running it for nine days. Um, whatever it is you want to do, you can play around with that. You can throw more money in a shorter period of time and people moving to that, that, that pin that we dropped, whatever it is, play around with it. And then guys, it's as simple as that. We hit promote now and, and we drop the ad on them. It's very, very simple. So that is the real in a nutshell way to drop a pin. It's actually very simple. So do this. Whenever you get a new listing or you have an open house, do what I just showed you how to do. I promise you anybody going in and out of those zones will be seeing your ad, seeing your signs, seeing you door knock, seeing you drop off a flyer, seeing you give them a handwritten note. It's all about touches, right? The more times we can touch this, these people, the more opted in they're going to be to do business with you. Okay? So that's it. My name is Hunter Potter. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my interview with GoGo -Go and this little tip on how to drop a pin. Go out there, have a great day, go sell something.